Obviously, the poor and working class have always been rejected by the Supreme Court because first and foremost, this is a body that serves to protect the status quo and the ruling oligarchy. In recent history, SCOTUS cited on behalf of Hoffman Plastic Compounds in 2002 in the case where the company refused to give back pay to an undocumented worker after he was illegally fired for union organizing activities. In more ancient history, when socialism was wildly popular in America before the Cold War, before McCarthyism, and this disinformation campaign against leftists, there was a massive party presence. In the early 20th century, Socialist Party leader Eugene Debs went to jail for six months because he participated in a railway strike in 1894. So this is surreal, considering how long ago this was written. But after he got out of jail, he asked, quote, And how does it happen? And why does it happen that corporations are never restrained? Are they absolutely law-abiding? Are they always right? Do they never transgress the law? Or is it because the federal judges are their creatures? If all the common people united and asked for the appointment of a federal judge, their voice would not be heeded any more than if it were the chirp of a cricket. Money talks. Yes, money talks. And I have no hesitancy in declaring that money has even invaded, or the influence that power conferred by money has invaded, the Supreme Court. There's something very wrong in this country. The judicial nets are so adjusted to catch the minnows and let the whales slip through, and the federal judge is as far removed from the common people as if he inhabited another planet. Wow. Uh, very well said. Unbelievable. Years later in 1918, Debs was charged and convicted under the 1917 Espionage Act for making an anti-war speech protesting the U.S. getting involved in World War I. His 10-year sentence, 10 years in prison for making an anti-war speech, anti-war agitation. I mean, consider like being written up in the DNI report saying that I'm fomenting radical discontent. This guy was put in prison for that. 10-year sentence upheld upheld by the Supreme Court. So I'm going to quote an excellent article by socialistworker.org now that I'll link on the timeline about the court's servitude to the war machine. During the First World War, when laws were passed criminalizing criticism of the war, the court gave its resounding approval. Even liberal justices joined in the unanimous decision to uphold the imprisonment of dissenters. Thus, when Debs used his right to free speech to oppose the war in a public oration in 1918, the court unanimously upheld the verdict against him, sending him to prison. So this is what he said about the judicial system during that famous anti-war speech in Ohio. He says, who appoints our federal judges? The people? In all the history of this country, the working class has never named a federal judge. There are 121 of these judges, and every solitary one holds his position, his tenure through the influence and power of the corporate capital. Corporations and trusts dictate their appointments. And when they go to the bench, they go not to serve the people, but to serve the interests that place them and keep them where they are. Why the other day, by a vote of five to four, they declared that child labor law unconstitutional. By a majority of one, the Supreme Court, a body of corporation lawyers, I love that, corporation lawyers, with just one exception, wiped that law from the statute books. And this in our so-called democracy so that we may continue to grind the flesh and blood and bones of puny little children into profits for the junkers of Wall Street. And this in a country that boasts of fighting to make the world safe for democracy. Boom! Mic drop, dude. Holy mother. Eugene Debs is just a goddamn prophet. I mean, amazingly astute, prophetic individual who was decades, if not centuries, ahead of his time, considering today's regression in America. Debs is also who said that famous quote, I'd rather vote for something I want and not get it than vote for something I don't want and get it. Couldn't agree more.